another smite build video i am your host shui let's go ahead and dive right into it as you can see on screen we're going to be going over neath weaver of fate now she has been not really tweaked too much into season three but uh some of the items that have changed has changed up her builds now i will state that i have kind of been running with a stock adc build There's not really too much that i changed depending on the god for the most part, as long as they're physical, I pretty much am going to be using majority of the same build. Maybe a couple things will be tweaked here and there, but not really. And Chiron and Neath are basically identical kits. Both have a getaway, both have a really high damage ability, and then they have a utility ability. And it's just... I, I don't really know. Like, There's not really much more I can say about it. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and dive into it. I'll go over our abilities really, really quick, and then we'll go over the item build really fast, and then we'll move on with our lives. Sound good? Sound good. Let's go. All right, so our passive, Broken Weave, and a god dies or using an ability, will set a Weave. Weaves give abilities secondary effects. Pretty self-explanatory. Weaves will last for over one minute, by the way. Uh, Neath fires a shot, passes through everything. Anything that's hit is rooted. If it hits a weave, it explodes, dealing an additional 100% damage. Caps at 350 plus 90% of your physical power, and the root lasts for two seconds on cap. Boom, moving on. Unravel. She unravels a little circle. When she unravels a circle, it deals a certain amount of damage. If it hits a weave, it will heal an additional amount. The damage is 190 plus 8% of your physical power at cap. Attack, it gives an attack speed debuff. The debuff caps at 30%. And the heal is to 80 plus 15% of your physical power. And the weave gives an additional 160 plus 30% of your physical power. Her escape, backflip. Neath, neath backflips through the air, creating a broken weave as she leaps while damaging and slowing enemies in the area in front of her. Damage is 220 plus 80% of your physical power. Slow is 25%. Still lasts 4.5% seconds for the slow. And yeah, I'm just kind of slowed down, guys. I don't really need to be rushed I'm just messing with you. But yeah, so pretty much you're going to be backflipping. And the backflip is going to have like an outward spray area. It slows and it'll set a weave and then you can usually hit the spirit. What I actually like to do is I like to run up on the wave. I like to bat flip on the wave and then pop the weave with the spirit arrow on an insta-clear wave if I'm trying to get super lame pressure or anything like that. Unravel is super, super helpful for self-heal. If you have a, just a spare weave on an odd end that you're never going to get anybody to bait into, just world weave it or unravel it, I mean, and it will just heal you up real quick. Um, you don't need to buy as many health pots because of Unravel, but it's not super, super effective as if you were Hell or Aphrodite. So remember that and don't just try to short yourself on the health pots because you will run out. And it's also super mana consuming to keep pop popping Unravel every 10 seconds. Try to heal yourself back up to full health. So having health pots will still help a lot. Spirit Arrow I would definitely use as your initiator and not as your finisher. So if you get a pluck from your support, pop it with the Spirit Arrow to root them. And just unleash with them arrows and then backflip if you need to or unravel them. Really, really effective. Or if you see your support is going to be dragging them somewhere, backflip and then spirit arrow. You can get that bonus damage on them. It would be super, super helpful. Her ultimate is World Weaver, which is also known as a snipe. You can fire an arrow from anywhere on the map. It'll stun them and it does a lot of damage. It'll cap at 490 plus 120% of your physical power. Stun lasts for 1.5 seconds on cap. Um... Really, really big key to remember on this is that they have to be on the map. So their icon of the god you want to hit has to be on your mini map. If it is not, you will not be able to target them. So wards and having aggressive people like in solo lane or mid lane or jungle or anything like that is super, super helpful. If you're trying to take down a one-shot guy that's going to get away or anything like that, they will help you out immensely. Now we're going to go ahead and run into the item builder really quick. If you guys don't know how to build your abilities, I apologize. I would recommend going with Spirit Arrow. To burst three, spirit arrow, unravel, backflip. Max spirit arrow, max unravel, max backflip, leveling up your ultimate every chance you can get. There you go, boom, dunzo funzo. We're gonna go ahead and go down and the starting item as always, which is pretty much in the common meta, was in the last meta, it's gonna stay in the meta, is tier two transcendence and both pots. And pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to mana pots and we're gonna be grabbing three two or three of each excuse me three of each pot and then also your relic needs to be purification because purification is super clutch in this and it's always super clutch it always has been purification beats have been the thing since the things have been things you know what i mean like it's it's going to be the top dog forever 
Next up, what we're going to grab is just Transcendence out of the gate because you want to get your builds and your stacks going as soon as possible. Cover what it does real quick. 35 physical power, 300 mana, and 6 MP5. Permanent of the game, 15 mana per stack and 5 stacks for God Kill, 1 for Minion Kill. Caps at 50. Additional 3% of your mana is converted into physical power. Boom. It's huge. It's very good. It's always been good. And it's probably going to stay good for a long time. Next one that you're going to grab has pretty much always been a staple on every build ever and you always need it which is boots and the go-to boots right now are warrior tabby 40 physical power and 18 percent movement speed uh please excuse the whining in the background that is my dog he's a big baby his name is zeus by the way so pretty fitting for smite and i'm a smite tuber but yeah so pretty pretty sure it's funny for most of you guys but whatever back to the build we're here with warrior tabby warrior tabby goes hard make sure you grab it um third item is very good this is one of the changed items if you have not watched the Chiron build this is pretty much the staple life steal right now other than dev gloves so if you're doing trans build you're always going to be building this which is a psi which gives you 15 percent physical life steal 20 percent attack speed and 15 physical pen if you drop below 35 percent health you gain an additional 25 percent physical life steal for five seconds it can only occur once every 15 seconds super clutch guys and actually helps you sustain in battles for a long time because being an ADC, you're probably going to get targeted down by the support and also targeted down by the soul lander quite often. So having that little bit of pen and having that extra lifesteal at 35% health is super, super, super helpful. Um, next is actually probably what's coming up to be my new favorite item. Odysseus's bow, also called Oboe, which gives you plus 40% attack speed, which is very, very helpful. Every fourth basic attack triggers a chain lightning damaging the target and up to four nearby targets for 30 damage plus 50% of your total physical power which is super helpful these pokes can get outrageous late game like you can just shred down people just by poking minion waves in front of them and it's it's pretty hilarious just to watch them panic and freak out and back up as they're getting shredded by lightning they can do nothing about so it's pretty fantastic we're gonna throw that on there next item is kind of kind of dependent on what you like to do um there's a lot of people out there that are still huge believers in the pen or huge believers in the crit. I'm a huge believer in the Ken size, which gives you 40 physical power, 15% attack speed. On basic attack hits, deal physical damage equal to 4% of the target's maximum health. This only affects gods. It's super, super helpful, guys. It is amazing and it absolutely helps you shred tanks and solo laners like you would never believe. Now, the last item is a little bit of pen that I like to get out here. You have a couple options here. I go with Titan's Bane, which all your physical attacks gain 33% physical pen, and you get 30 physical power off of it. So that's what I'm going to throw in. The other things that you can actually grab, though, that are super helpful is Brawler's Beat Stick, which gives you 40 physical power and 20 physical pen. Enemies hit by your abilities have 40% reduced healing and regeneration for 8 seconds. I would recommend this if you have a Genyu in solo lane, a Hell in mid, Afro support, or Afro solo. Don't really see them too often anymore. Maybe Isis. I guess you could probably say Isis just for ultimate and just throw out a couple basics just to lower it when you feel she's about to pop it. But other than that, those three would be the main ones I would go for. The uh, second relic I would grab as well would be Curse or Sprint. I would make sure you sync this up with your support. If you see your support by Curse, by Sprint. If you see your support by Sprint, by Curse. And vice versa. But yeah, so you want to go ahead and grab that. I'll put Curse here as well because either one of these would be the ones that you would buy. If you're running solo and your support buys something stupid... And you don't want to sync up with that. Buy Sanctuary. You can never go wrong with being invulnerable. It gives you, lets you survive the Kraken. Let's you survive Hades ults. Let's you survive World Weavers. Let's you survive Nuwa ults. Everything. You can survive everything with it. It's, it's a phenomenal if you can learn how to time it. We're going to go ahead and throw everything on and get the overview like we always do. Basics will be doing 243. Physical power is 184. Attack speed is 1.97. Life steal is 15. Penetration is 15. Zero crit. With 72 physical protection, 48 magical protection, 1935 health, 17 HP, 5, 431 movement speed, 0% CDR, and 1310 mana with 17 MP5. Ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Also, if you have any comments, concerns about this build or any future build you'd like to see, make sure you comment those down below. I'd like to hear what you guys think about the builds and so on and so forth. But also, make sure if you have any suggestions for future videos that you try to keep it to ADCs at the time being. Once I'm done with the majority of the ADCs, I will probably move on to supports and solos and junglers and mid lanes and rabbits and lions and bears on oh my. But yeah. Also, if this is the first time you've ever seen anything on my channel and you just really love Neath and you wanted to build and you found your way to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. Become part of the Shoe crew. If you like my voice, if you like my content, if you like my community, go ahead and join it. 
become a member. It is free. I don't charge too much. Just a little bit of cuddling. You know, it's whatever. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. I'm going to get out of here. I will talk to you in the next video. Peace.